efficiency. So as we already discussed it, uh, energy transfer from useful energy store, uh, energy tends to transfer from useful energy stores to non-useful energy store. So whenever there is a process that we are transferring energy, not all the energy is always, uh, not the all, all the energy is given to, a, uh, to us as output. For, it, uh, for example, if you have a machine and you give it some energy, which I'm calling input energy, and you get it some work done, useful work done, which is called output. So input is total energy transferred. And output is useful work done. So in this transfer, always there will be some energy loss. That is, energy has transferred to some uh, some store where it uh, some useless store where it cannot be reused. So input and total energy. Now, what is efficiency? Efficiency is defined as uh, efficiency is defined as the ratio of uh, output to the input. That is useful work divided by uh, total energy supplied. Okay, so it will always be less than one because total energy supplied is always greater than the total energy uh, uh, output or useful work because some energy is lost. So that's why output to input ratio is always less than one. And uh, if you want to find the percentage efficiency, then you multiply it by hundred. So percentage efficiency that how much. Uh, percent of our input has been used as useful energy or how much uh, useful energy we get out of our input that will be output divided by input times 100. So what you get out of it is percentage efficiency. Similarly, if you are not giving the value of energy, you can use power instead of energy because power is the rate of doing work or rate of energy transfer. So you can actually use power instead of uh, uh, energy to, to find efficiency. So if I want to find the power, uh, what I would do is I, uh, if I'm doing power, sorry. So efficiency efficiency will become equal to output power divided by input power. So you can use either of the relationship to find the efficiency. Uh, efficiency can never be 100% except for one machine that is the electrical heater. In electrical heater, all the electrical energy is converted into the is transferred to thermal energy store and we get 100% efficiency. But in talking in a strict sense, the electrical heater uh, after it's converted into thermal energy, it's always dissipated into the surrounding. Uh, so it's pretty useless. Other than that, all kinds of machine, when they, they are given some kind of input, their output will always be less than input. So efficiency will always be less than 100%. Okay. So there, there should be some uh, loss in energy. And for some machines then, like when we convert, uh, we try, try to transfer thermal energy for energy from thermal energy store to mechanical energy store, then what we get is we got a law that you can never do that. It is impossible to transfer 100% thermal energy to uh, energy from thermal energy store to mechanical energy store. There will always be a loss. Okay. So 
we can try to solve uh, an example with the uh, associated with efficiency. We can solve this example. What do we got? Efficiency and we got input. Okay. So we have our formula efficiency is equal to and it's percentage. So let's say percentage efficiency is equal to output power divided by input power. Power times 100%. So we divide, uh, if we divide both sides by 100, we can get rid of percentage. So this is 70% divided by 100 is equal to, divided by 100% is equal to output power divided by input power multiply by 100% divided by 100%. So this will cancel out and we got 0 0.7 from here, which is output power divided by input power. So this will give us if I multiply both side by input power, or, uh, I'm saying input power is dividing here. So uh, when it goes on this side, it will be multiplied. So output power will become equal to 0 0.7 multiplied by input power. And 0 0.7 multiplied by input power is 600 watt. So this will become equal to 420 watts. So output power is 420 watt. So that's how we can solve this example. Okay. So I think that's enough. Tomorrow, uh, the next lecture is about different types of energy sources. So it's not worth doing in a lecture format. Then it's better if we do it in a presentation format and discuss it. Okay. Thank you so much.